In English, it's called a bray harp because it brays like a donkey. It buzzes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because it's fitted with little wooden pegs which hold the strings into the sound box. Right. And they very lightly touch the strings and they cause them to buzz. Which we call the brays. That's right. The bray, okay. the bray pins are, you know, give, give the bray harp its distinctive sound. Yeah. And I've got a couple with me here. They're just little crooked wooden pegs. Right. At right angles that fit into the box. And this is music that would have been played on the harp in the late Middle Ages. We can bring it alive thanks to the survival of a unique manuscript now housed in the British Library. This manuscript dates from 1613, but is a record of a much earlier oral tradition, the court harp music of Wales, which was collected and transcribed by Robert Ap Hugh, a harpist from Anglesey. It's beautiful to look at, but the way it works is also very beautiful. This is a stave, if you like. And this middle line separates the treble hand from the bass hand. So this is the bass hand and that's the treble hand. It's the earliest surviving collection of harp music anywhere in Europe. Musicologists have spent years attempting to decipher the unique tablature used to write down this sophisticated music. Each piece is constructed around one of 24 musical patterns, based on a binary system. These were known as the 24 measures of string music. First of all, we get a column with their names yeah. in Welsh, like Macamon Hir, Corfinur, Corskolov. And the thing about these names is that m quite a few of them don't really make sense in Welsh. Yeah. And they do seem to be borrowed words from Irish. Right. They seem to be okay. Irish names even. here to Glendaloch in the Wicklow Mountains on the trail of the age-old connections between the Welsh and Irish harping traditions. This ancient monastic settlement is the spiritual home of the harp here in Ireland. documentary evidence that a meeting was held here in Glendaloch in the 11th century between musicians from Wales and Ireland to set down the 24 measures of string music. This would imply that this music was common to both cultures, although the sound of the medieval Irish harp was very different. The main biggest difference is the strings. The strings are metal, in this case brass and bronze. So if you were to play a, 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 like a chord, how would you have... See, so. There's a lot, and you play with your fingernails. Yeah, play with fingernails. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, that's the would you call that? That would be the, the medieval Irish harp. Right. The medieval design with the willow sound box is the only way to go, really. If you you could give me a crash course on on that pew, what what would we start with? What, okay. What's the main sort of? Uh, well, there's a simple piece, Kenya Equin Beep It. Um, Basically, the, the whole Apu system is based on, the whole music is based on measures. Right. You've got these 24 measures. They can get very complicated, but in this piece, they're quite simple. They just go. So. One, one, zero, yeah. zero. So you could have one, 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 zero, 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 one, zero, but only one, zero. two chords? Yeah. Yeah. Or two related chords. You could have the chords get real fancy sometimes. You could have like something like. Oh. oh and that would be that would be a 0.8 or something. No, they're still ones. Oh, they're still ones. They're still ones, but they're fancy ones. Okay. <laughs> so then, to because you'd think you couldn't do anything with this kind of simple, that it would be very boring. But they actually invented quite a few. Uh, the melody starts 
not on the bass anywhere. We didn't get that far, we didn't get that far, that's not fair. That's, that's, that's ace, that was good, that was good. The wire-strung clasach or Irish harp and the bray harp were central to Welsh, Irish and Scottish music traditions right up to the 17th century. With the renaissance of interest in all things Celtic at the end of the 19th century, and again with the more recent folk revival of the 60s and 70s, the Celtic harp was reinvented a hybrid of the ancient harps and the modern concert harp. At the cutting edge of that revival was Alan Stavell. after he captured the imagination of young people across Europe with his revolutionary approach to Celtic music, Alan is still playing and still experimenting. I went to meet him while he was rehearsing for a concert during his latest tour and asked him how he came to play the harp. Uh, because of my father, you know, my daddy, uh, wanted to make a revival of the Celtic harp in Brittany, and I was a, a child, and uh, when I saw this harp being built, uh, it was something so fantastic for me, and especially when the first strings were put on, I was taken by the magic, by the magical, uh, you know, uh, the magic of yeah, the, the harp, yes. of the sound. Yeah. When then did you start electrifying harps? When did the whole electric? So around the same time when my father made his first metal strings harp. I was myself uh, already involved in uh, in the beginning of uh, rock and roll and uh, yeah. and, uh, and American folk music and so on. So and, and of, of even uh, Indian music and instruments like that. So the metal strings harp uh, there was something which uh, was at the same time more together with the the sound coming from outside ah. in the uh, in our in my generation but also something which, in a way, was more Celtic than the nylon strings or the goat strings oh, yeah. in, my, in my spirit, in my feeling. By 1617, when Robert Apu was transcribing his manuscript, music was changing dramatically in Europe. Under the influence of the Renaissance and subsequently the Baroque movement, music was becoming more sophisticated and composers were expecting more flexibility from instruments. This was beyond the capabilities of the Klaasach or the Bray harp. If the harp was to survive, it had to develop quickly. And this was the result, the triple harp. A harp with three rows of parallel strings which enabled the player to change keys without retuning. A true chromatic instrument. 